How's it going? Good. I was worried I wasn't going to see you. So, uh, you've got so many supporters <laughs> who are, uh, you know, concerned. Um, you know, but you've got supporters at ESPN, you've got Al Sharpton on, you've got your back, <laughs> you've got uh, <clears throat> uh, professional athletes everywhere. So, you know, what do you have to say to your supporters? Uh, mostly what I have to say is like, um, you know, <laughs> this has been a reflective time for me. I'm very grateful for all the people who've shown support for me. Um, it's very humbling, I, I, honestly. And so um, I'm thankful for them, um, but I'm happy to be back. So I'll be back Monday. It'll, oh, that's great. Yeah, I'll be back Monday. It'll be great. And yeah, I mean, I'm just concentrating more on moving forward. So. Um, so, I mean, people were worried you might be leaving ESPN. Is that uh, any part? <laughs> no. you've, you've worked it all out and... Yeah, look, it, me and ESPN are fine. And it's just like, uh, I know it's great conjecture to think about what might happen, but like, we're fine. We're, we're in a good place. And um, I'm happy to be back at the network. And so, yeah, like, I don't have much to say beyond that. Well, so what about Twitter? You coming back to Twitter? We miss you. Oh, absolutely. Oh yeah, coming okay. Back to Twitter. Look, I, I want people to understand this. Like, there was never any restrictions placed on me about oh, really? Twitter. Oh really? Okay. Um, so nothing even, in your contract forbidding no, you from nothing in this. And so I'll be back on Twitter, and uh, I'll be my usual self. But do you bit. feel that you uh, were treated fairly by the network? So here's how this works: is that um, it doesn't really matter what I think. Um, I think, you know, as well, it matters to us. No, it matters to people. But like, here's the reality: it's like ESPN acted what they felt was right, and you know, um, I don't have any argument or quibble with that. I would tell people absolutely after my Donald Trump tweets, I deserve that suspension. <laughs> I deserve it. Like wow. absolutely, like I violated the policy. I I deserve that suspension. Um, you know, going forward, like we'll be in a good, healthy place. It'll be fine. And yeah, so you've I'm had looking to, forward to it. You've had some time to reflect on everything. What What are your? Do you have any uh, message for Mr. Trump? <laughs> I think he already knows how I feel about him. Yeah. Um, not that he's checking, yeah. right? not that he cares. But uh, as I said, like the only thing I ever apologize for is like, I put ESPN in, in a bad spot. I'll never take back what I said. Wow, right? all right. So I put him in a bad spot and um, yeah, that's the truth of it. Um, I regret the position I put them in. I regret a lot of the people I work with, the position we put our show in. I'll never take back what I said. So you can take that to mean what it means. So. Well, will you think twice about, uh, you know, uh, speaking your free mind again? No. I mean, and look, I don't think ESPN has created that environment for me. Like, they haven't told me, like, oh, suppress this or suppress that. It's, it's obviously certain things we need to kind of connect on and make sure we're on, on the same page. But, like, I don't feel like I'm suppressed. So I, I'm good. And um, I love ESPN as much as I ever did the day I walked in there. And yeah, I mean, I'm okay. Like a lot of people have been like, oh, is she this, is she that? Like, I feel good. So I feel good. That's fantastic news. I think that's gonna relieve a lot of people's minds because we've all been pretty worried about you. I know. I know a lot of people have been worried. They've been concerned and I, I understand that and like literally I'm humbled by that seriously but like I, I'm i okay and um, there's nothing that hasn't happened that I feel like I can't recover from and as far as my relationship with ESPN I think I think we're good like you know these things happen <laughs> You know, sometimes they color a little bit outside the lines, <laughs> not quite like where they want you to be, and it's it's okay. Like we'll we'll be good. I've been with them 11 years. We'll be fine. Well, and it seems like the controversy hasn't stopped at all. I mean, the the, the taking of the knee um, seems to only be spreading. And mm -hmm. somebody tonight, while singing the national anthem, took a knee, right? Um, yeah. So here's what the people who keep 
clamoring for them to to stand up and even this applies to Jerry Jones it's like what you're doing is that like you're openly challenging who they are as people mm -hmm. like the one thing I always rejected about it is like they they is that Jerry Jones felt like he needed to show this exaggerated show of force to his players who are already going to stand and so I think now for a lot of players it's not even about what you're kneeling for, what Colin Kaepernick was kneeling for. What it's about is the fact that they don't want to be told what to do. And um, I get that. Like, you can't just show them up that way. Um, and so, for me, I think their rights were extremely violated. And they were put in a bad spot. Like, they were put in a position where they were going against their communities, and that's not right. Well, do you think that the issue has been clouded as to why people are kneeling? Absolutely. I know like, people don't remember the original reason why this started. And it started from a, a very basic reason. All those people who say that Colin Kaepernick has not explained, no, he explained multiple times what this was about. It was about criminal justice reform, police brutality, and it was about the fact that, like, you have marginalized people who feel marginalized, right? Yeah, and it's still happening. I mean, there was Absolutely. just an incident this week, so... So, it's like, you know, um, I think a lot of people have allowed the method of protest to become too big an issue about what it's actually about. The method of protest doesn't matter. We're a nation of dissenters. This is what we do. Like, this is what we do. Do you think any form of protest would be acceptable to the other side? No, it never has been. So... I did some research and looked back into how people felt about civil rights protests, which is what a thing everybody agrees on now. And the majority of people were against it. Mm -hmm. And so that tells me something about our collective consciousness. Like we're not objective enough to understand what is the right way. There is no right way. The right way is to make you uncomfortable. That's mm -hmm. the whole point. Mm -hmm. That's a protest. So um, I support the player's right to do that. I support anybody's right to do that, and um, I'll always stand there, always. All right. Well, and so what if they made it a rule for the NFL that they had to stand for him? They won't, they because won't. it, Tammy, is, is not in the CBA. It was always a matter of function, never a matter of, of, of what actually existed. And <laughs> the thing is. The NFL didn't start making players come out for the national anthem until they were paid to do right, it. Right, right. It was a, it it was was a, a paid, right. paid propaganda to, 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 right. to make the... Because the, the military wanted to make sure that, you know, understandably so, they wanted to make sure that people, that they could recruit in a certain way and do these things. Like, I hope people understand, like, this was never about actual... Patriotism. Right. Before a few years ago, the teams would stay in the locker Correct. room, right? Yeah. They all stood in the locker room, and no one noticed. And frankly, given where things are right now, I think they probably need to revisit having teams just stay in the locker room. Mm -hmm. That way, no one is called out. That mm -hmm. way, if you protest, if you don't protest, like nothing is ever under scrutiny. Mm -hmm. So I kind of would like to see that happen. Well, and uh, so other important news, the, the World Series is getting closer. We're down to three teams. <laughs> the Dodgers, you Dodgers fan? or uh, I'm not a Dodgers fan. Um, Yankees, I actually Astros? think, like, I, I, I'm from Detroit. So oh, okay. weirdly, I mean, not weirdly enough, but, like, I love Kirk, Kirk Gibson, obviously. But, like, um, the worst thing I can actually imagine is <laughs> – LA and New York <laughs> like oh the two biggest cities duking it out oh yeah right that's so like uncomfortable like <laughs> like I hate that as a Midwesterner because <laughs> then it'll become like a big city thing and whatever but I am happy for a lot of people in LA as much as I dis truly dislike the possibility of that series I love to see the Astros make it just to jumble things up a bit if you like what you just saw and you want to see more videos of your favorite athletes, crazy stories, and just all the best off the field stuff, uh, subscribe to the TMZ Sports YouTube channel. The subscribe button is right here. And check out more of our exclusive content right here.